Right now, the U.S. military is starting a new era, accepting gays in the service. The don't ask, don't tell policy is officially dead. For years, Call 7 investigator John Ferrugia has been following this story. The story of a man who lived in the shadows, a man who eventually led the charge against the law. And tonight, that man can finally show his face. It was everything I wanted to do. He has been the man in the shadows, known only as J.D. Smith, at the center of a secret active duty campaign to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. It was constant fear and, and not knowing was I going to be able to stay in the Air Force if, if this was discovered by anyone. All the while, this Air Force Academy grad could never show his face or reveal his name until now. My name is Josh Seafried. I'm a first lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Josh Seafree developed a secret underground Facebook network known as OutServe, connecting thousands of gay military members across the country and around the world, including in war zones. We have over 473 members currently over in Iraq and Afghanistan. He began his network by collecting stories from gay troops who had no place to go to share their experiences of loneliness, intimidation, and blackmail. Stories Josh Seafried knew well. I knew cadets that were assaulted at the Air Force Academy and, and couldn't report any type, type of those crimes at all. Sexually assaulted? Yeah. You're telling me you knew Air Force Academy cadets who were gay, who were sexually assaulted, and they couldn't report the crime? Correct. Because they'd get kicked out? Yeah, absolutely. Now, some of those heart-wrenching stories are included in this book to be released next month. And ironically, because of its worldwide contacts, OutServe became the only place the Pentagon could turn to survey active duty gay service members about their experiences under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. But it couldn't simply ask for a list of names. The current law made it both inappropriate and impossible to reach gay and lesbian service members. Gautam Raghavan, a member of the Pentagon team, concluded that an outside military contractor not required to out gay troops could connect with OutServe and survey its members, obtaining information the Pentagon could not get directly. The input we got throughout serve um, about the experiences of gay and lesbian service members was absolutely a critical part of the report and the conclusions that we came to. On serving under Don't Ask, Don't Tell, you feel like you're no, maybe not part of the military team because the military is always like, we don't want gay people serving, but now that's not the case anymore. So Josh Seafried believes he can finally live up to the ideals that first inspired him to serve his country. I get to restore and work to restore the integrity I once and thought I had um, in the military. That conflict is now gone. Now, just because Don't Ask, Don't Tell has been overturned, it doesn't mean that all gay service members will automatically make their status known. Many have spent years living in fear, hiding their homosexuality. They, like any gay person, may have their own reasons for leading a double life. But at least for now, Mike, they no longer have to be afraid of losing their careers. Fascinating story. John, thank you very much.